Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today. Just want to take a quick look at an author that has so much influence, Jack Derrida. You know, if you're on a college campus, it's going to be Foucault, Derrida, and Nietzsche. You know, that's the three hip end philosophers. And uh, I like a lot of what Derrida tried to do anyhow. You know, he was Jewish, he was raised in Algeria, he was born in 1930, died 2004, pancreatic cancer, I think, and, and he's the one that gave us that terminology deconstructionism in a philosophical understanding. And, you know, as a Jew, being raised during Nazism, Vichy France, all of this, he was highly discriminated against by the Muslims, in Algeria, he was highly discriminated against by Vichy France, Christianity, and then here he is, he's, he's Jewish, and had a very wealthy family, I mean he was, and he was in style, you know, he knew how to wear great raincoats and wear his hair good and all this kind of stuff, so, and so he was beloved figure in French understanding, but by deconstruction, what he basically meant was, is and I want to do is, is understanding justice, is that which you're against, maybe there is a redeeming value in that which you're against. And at least something in there. And so you should at least observe it. And so this dialectical materialism, this uh, dialectic that he used, um, he, he really, in a sense, wanted to use use it to promote a Marxist society, this type of thing. Now, I find it fascinating. People who quote Derrida all the time are normally leftist, and they will not look at redeeming values often of conservatism and biblicist in this type of thing. So they kind of just want a one-way street, look at the benefits of humanism, look at the benefits of atheism, look at the benefits of gay study, look at the benefits of women's studies, look at the benefits of, of these type things, but they don't want to look at the benefits that you know Christianity gave us, a prosperous society, a just society by and large, even though there'll be no true 100% just society, but theoretically everybody just under the law, this type thing, the most prosperity that's ever come to common people, the biggest middle class ever in the history of the world. These type things, a constitution, the rule of law, these type things, they don't want it to uh, come together. And then, of course, he had that Greek word aporia that he kind of brought back into language. And, and uh, he wanted to see, too, he would say those logocentrism, uh, word-centric, that maybe that sight, maybe feeling, maybe other things, pictures, uh, can be just as moving as words. He thinks from the time of Plato that words have ruled supreme. Now again, I can, I can understand, but now as a Christian that kind of undercuts the scripture and the word of God because we know we're going to be judged by a book. And it says the books are open there at the great white throne judgment. And this type of thing and the truth comes by a book. But we also have to live it. We also have to have that. So uh, Jack Derrida, um, I haven't read this book in particular. I looked through it, read a few things in it, enjoyed what I read. I think his, but he read a, wrote like 40 books. His most famous was on grammatology. And, uh, but he is a giant in uh, Western philosophy, Western understanding. And so if you're wondering why progressivism and is constantly deconstructing. A lot of it has to do with the seeds planted by Jack Derrida. So, just live for God. You've got a great book, the Bible. In Jesus' name.